Trading is a game of probability, and if you take advantage of it, it can give you an unfair advantage. In this video, you're going to learn what a reasonable amount to risk per trade is based on your account size, as well as learn how using less can generate more returns. But real quick, before we get into the video, just want to take a moment to say I am not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. Here we are in TradingView looking at the SPY on the one hour chart. And what we're gonna start off by doing is I'm gonna chart what we assume would happen, which would be for it to come down here and then take out and make a new high, which stop right there. Should end about right here. It doesn't necessarily need to run up there. So our trading plan for this would look something like this. All right, so we enter at the demand zone and our Target is going to be the top over here. Stop loss is going to be a little bit past the bottom of the demand zone. And right there, this has a really nice risk to reward ratio. We almost have a one to six risk to reward ratio. So we are risking 133 to make 765. So that's not a bad return. But what really stops most people is while the full trade plan is a lot more profitable, what gets people is stuff like this. Say your original plan was to trade this but actually you trade this. So right there you go from like a one to almost six risk to reward ratio to a one to three risk to reward ratio, which is still a good risk to reward ratio. But the main reason most people can't hold for their trade plan is they are over leveraged, meaning they are risking too much of their account. So if you are risking an amount that is not going to kill you, you're going to be able to do this. In this instance, say you risk everything in this account. This whole trade you put into the trade, you're willing to lose. You're willing to let it go to zero. All right, you pay $133 for the trade, but you have the potential to make $765. Dollars in the trade. That is a nice risk to reward ratio. But instead of getting 765, you cut out for 445, which is still a nice return, but you're cutting out and you're not holding because you're getting scared. Or maybe you're actually, you get stuck riding halfway down and you're like, oh, it's not coming back up. And you sell out for 360 instead of that 765 or that 445. All because you got scared of a healthy little pullback because you're over leveraged. That's just how it goes. There's definitely nothing wrong with taking profits even after you see a little 10% run. Like definitely don't be greedy. But what often happens is we'll often continue riding down and say it's going to reverse and then it never reverses. That is what our stop loss is for. And that's why we stick to our trade plan. So when we have a trade plan, we should, if it hasn't passed our stop loss, keep riding. Once it hits our take profit, take profit if you want to leave a runner. But that's beside the point. Let's talk about how much to risk on a trade. So right here, I have drawn like an ideal scenario. Let me get rid of this line. So right here, we have three different account sizes. We got $100, $1,000, and $10,000. What we're going to be taking a look at is how much to risk on each trade, like how much of your account should you be putting into each trade. And we're going to see how it performs with the trade of one to four risk to reward ratio. Keep in mind the one we just looked at was almost one to six. So this is a very realistic risk to reward ratio that you can find trading supply and demand on the one to four hour time frame. So looking at this, if we're using $100, we're going to risk 30 to 50% of our account, 1,000, 10 to 20% of the account, which is going to be 100 to 200 per trade. And then 10,000, 5 to 10%, which is 500 to 1,000 per trade. And then I didn't say 100. 100, we're going to be risking 30 to $50 per trade. And you may notice you don't really have as much wiggle room with $100. That's because you don't. So really, in this situation, if you cut your account into 50%, you have two, two trades. If you cut it into 30, you have three trades. Right here, 10 to 20% on 1,000. You got anywhere from five to 10 trades. And then right here, anywhere from 10 to 20 trades right here. So getting back to it, we're going to come right here and project right here. I have set up a trade 20% downside and the upside is 80%. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how this affects your account, how it dwindles it down. So right here, the way we have it set up is for each of these account sizes, we're going to be taking a look at four losses and a win. Starting with $100, you lose this first trade, which is 20% of $50. 20% of $50 is $10. So that's going to bring us down to 90. So now we're at $90. We make another trade, we lose another trade. We make another $50 trade, lose more money on it. Now we're at $80 because we lose $10 on it. Then we risk $50 again on another trade, lose again, we get stopped out. Now we are sitting at $70. We once again risk another $50 and get it wrong. So after $4, the first trade we lose end up going to 90, second trade 80, third trade 70, fourth trade 60. This is all we have left. So we can take this $50 trade with this risk to reward two more times with that $50. If this goes wrong, the next time we're at $50, we still have $50. And then if we take it one more time, we lose, okay, we're down to 40. We've taken our four L's, we've lost four times. Now on the fifth time, oh, we finally get a win. So the win, it's an 80% win and that brings our account back up to 90. And now we have broken our momentum and let's, uh, just for the sake of it, let's add another win in here. Taking that same trade one more time takes us from $90 to 130. So just like that, after four losses and two wins, that's a 33% win ratio right there. We are up 30% on our account. Now I'm going to run the same scenario through with these accounts and we're going to take a look at the numbers. Now the chart is all filled in and you can see this is how it played out after four losses and two wins. With the 33% win ratio, trading with $1,000 using 20% of $1,000 each trade. The first trade with this one to four risk to reward ratio, you're down $40, two trades, $80, three trades, 120, four trades, 160. If you win the fifth one, you're back at break even. Winning two trades and losing four has you up 16%. And you have a similar result for $10,000. Now based off using 10% of your $10,000 account, after losing tr one trade using 10%, you're down 2% over overall, 4% overall, 6% after using losing three, 8% overall after losing four, and then just getting one right throws you back to break even. Winning two trades using 10% of a thousand puts you up 8% overall. And when you think about it throughout this process, all these values shouldn't weigh too heavy on your mind because you're managing your risk. It's not as big of a deal when it comes to risking 30 to 50% of $100 because 30 to $50 with a little work, you can make it like that. When it comes to $1,000, even if you're working a regular job, when it comes to $1,000, it's not an excruciating amount of time to make that money. And then once you get up here, it's, yo, you're spend a little bit more time making this money depending on your job, especially if you're working minimum wage. You just learned how to better manage your risk when trading, but that means nothing if you don't know how to chart your trades in a great trading software. Be sure to click on this video right here to learn how to set up and use the tools that you need to chart your trades in TradingView. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, please be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.